Okay. Good evening. Class is going to start. And、uh, hello, welcome to the stream. We are going to do some tutorial today. We are going to learn how to make a basic, the most basic RPG battle theme. So yeah, we're going to make some music. If okay. I am going to、uh, try to like. Oh, hello, Razor! Welcome. I'm going to try to make sure that this tutorial uses、um, like almost everything is free. Like the the libraries, they're going to be free, so you can like download them for free without having to.、Hmm, Without having to pirate them, so yeah. I hope today's session will be quite useful to you. But first, okay, there are a few things that we are going to talk about. So, battle themes usually used in battle. I'm sure many of you have played at least one RPG games. And they usually have battle themes, and、uh, the method I'm going to、um, teach today is actually like one of the most used method to make a battle theme. So yeah, I hope I can make it easy enough for you, and I hope I can make it simple enough that yeah you can understand. Okay, are you ready? If you're ready, we are going to start. Just tell me if you're ready. So I've been a gamer for like、uh, the whole of my life, probably.、Uh, I've played quite a few RPG games, and、uh, usually Japanese RPG games because I love Japanese games, and yeah, they're quite. They're quite、um, interesting, and they have this like these formulas that make them a Japanese game. Usually, usually they're like anime-ish.、Uh, the art style is anime-ish, and、uh, also the music. The music usually like these Japanese games. They sound alike the music because they're. They actually have、uh, like their、uh, influence, their musical influence, are、uh, almost the same. Oh, hello, Snow Easy Shell! Welcome to the stream. So yeah, these、uh, Japanese games usually they have like a similar、uh, influence on their music. Like、uh, a lot of them are influenced by rock, yeah, J rock,、uh, rock in、uh, like particular. Because、uh, rock in the eighties,、uh, uh, it's quite big in Japan, and they've quite, they've made a genre of, them, of themselves like J rock, and they have these、uh, chord progressions that are quite common to use. Like for example, this is the most common、uh, rock progression used. And like,、mm, if you can、uh, like catch on it, it's、uh, very commonly used. Like maybe in、uh, we are the champion, I think it 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 used this、uh, flat six, flat seven one progression. It's one of the common progression used in in rock music. So okay. With that aside, also there's a progression used commonly by Japanese because of the、uh, cultural thing. So this is like the traditional Japanese、uh, chord progression, which is the wait. It's the six,、uh, four, five, six. That's one.、Uh, that's the 
It's called the anime progression now, but there's a name for it, but I forgot. It's the royal something. So it has something to do with Japanese royalty music, like Japanese traditional royal music. Because music uh, in the past, in Japan's past, like in their uh, kingdom, I'm not sure if uh, we call them kingdom era, like. Um, I'm not sure, like the dynasty era, yeah. Uh, music is for the royalties, like uh, they hire musicians to perform for the royal families, for the shoguns and stuff. So yeah, that's why it's called the royal court progression because it started with the royal family of Japan. So yeah. Okay, with that, let's start. Okay, first off, I'm gonna introduce you to something which is widely used in uh, in these battle teams. So it's a rhythm. This this rhythm is like used by the majority of uh, battle teams. So there are actually two rhythms. Uh, but they're just kind of uh, like a variation of each other. So the first one is this, like this. So it's on beat and then off beat and then on beat like this. If we draw it and then we loop this so like this. So this is the first uh, rhythm that's most widely used. The second one is just a variation of this. It involves um, it involves extending this that that is it. So the next the next rhythm is like this. So yeah, it's just uh, like a, an extension of the uh, the one before. So yeah, first it's on beat and then off beat and then on beat off beat. They just uh, like switch between the on beat and off beat. So yeah, like one and a half beats each, and then in the end we have a two one beat like that. Oh, hello, Oshika Yokugi. Welcome. Hello, Katsuya. Oh, welcome, Shiro. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the stream. So, yeah, this is uh, the second uh, the second rhythm. I'm going to uh, demonstrate, like, give you a ex an example of the first rhythm. Oh, Shiro, thank you for subscribing. Okay, so the first one is this. So this one is actually called, uh, this one is used uh, in Latin music uh, traditionally. It's called Tresio and if you, uh, if you know Habanera, usually Habanera uses the Tresio rhythm, this rhythm. Now that rhythm is a, a variation of a Tresio because if you listen to the beats, the accents. Oh, I, I have to turn off the VGM. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> so yeah, a habanera is like this. Like that. Uh, the, the accent is on the uh, first and the second half and then the fourth beat. Like that. And okay, uh, I'm now going to give an example of a battle team that uses the um, Tresio rhythm. If you know this music,
So yeah, that's the first example, which is the Pokemon battle theme. And the Pokemon, the Pokemon battle theme is actually quite consistent with the with their battle theme. So that's the first uh, generation Pokemon battle theme, and they they keep on using that same rhythm throughout the gens. Uh, and here's the second uh, second generation battle theme. Yeah, if you've listened to the melody, it's just a variation of the uh, Tricio theme, like, uh, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, if we speed this up, tap, pop, 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 like that. Wait, let me fix the tempo. Okay, I need to speed the speed this up a little. Bum, 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 bum. So yeah, it's actually just a just um a variation of the tresio, right? See, it's basically just the tresio with another extended rhythm. <laughs> yeah, let's throw the pokeball now. Okay, like the first for the first gen, it's just the tresio theme. It's consistent throughout the song, right? And then if we go to the third gen, uh, wait, let me remember the gen. Right? It's just the same. Press your rhythm. And then uh, another famous uh, example is. Genshin, the uh, the Liyue battle theme uses a tresio as well. If you listen, firstly, if I play the melody, you won't know that it's a tresio because the melody is not the part where the tresio rhythm occurs. Right, so the melody is just basic melody with a uh, pentatonic scale, which is a, the scale used in many traditional Asian countries, like Chinese music, Indonesian music. They use uh, they each use pentatonic scale, but each one different. But if we listen to the the basses. So, okay, I'm going to play the basses. So, yeah, I'll try to play the mel I'll try to write the melody here so I can play the bass. Okay. No, that's too fast. I think it's a hundred and twenty. Da da da. Yeah. Okay. So let me record the melody and I'll play the bass for you. Okay, so that's the melody. Then let's listen to the uh, the uh, bass lines. Sorry, I need to fix this. All right. Okay, we listen to the bass now. So yeah, the uh, the tracio theme doesn't have to be in the melody. It can also be in the other accompanying instruments. So yeah, 
Once we've known that, now we can try to make a basic rhythm. So let's... Okay, I'm going to show what I'm, I'm using, like the instruments, the libraries. So firstly, for the orchestra, the orchestra, I'm going to use the BBC Symphony Orchestra Discover by Spitfire Audio. Yeah. Okay, so this is the Spitfire Audio BBC Symphony Orchestra, the Discover version. So the Discover version is a light version of the full BBC SO library, but this one's free. You just have to go to the website and fill up some survey and they'll send you the plugin, the license in two weeks. Yeah, in 14 days, they'll send you this for free. So yeah, you can use this for your compositions and it includes full the full orchestra. Hello, Hello Sylvia, welcome, welcome. So yeah, they include you the complete BBC orchestra, although with some limitations, but you can get by those uh, limitations if you're creative enough. So yeah, we have some longs or spiccato and we have some articulations like that. Mm, we can use that. Now, okay, firstly, we we pick the vi the first violin. So usually the rhythms are in the violins and the uh, brasses, the brass bands. So firstly, the violins and we'll set this to this one, spiccato, with, which means short notes. Okay, so we've had uh, we've looked at the uh, rhythm before. Okay, now we just have to think about um, the about the key we are going to play in. So for easier uh, to, to make it easier, simpler, let's just use a, a C. Okay, now we use C. But firstly, we, uh, we've established that the rhythm is like this. Right? That's the rhythm of Tresio, the rhythm we are going to use. But we do not have to uh, like completely just use that uh, on the get-go. Like, we can have a few variations on that. Like if we put it like this. So basically we have a some kind of a C minor chord here. Oops, sorry. I think I need to speed this up a little. Like that, yeah? Usually like that, right? But we don't always have to like just put the uh, rhythm like this. We can, however, we can also make some like uh, in-betweens, like notes in-betweens to make some runs. Like that, maybe. that like we can put some notes in between to make it even more interesting but it depends on uh, on what you want to achieve if we put it like this um, it gives more movement like uh, more urgency but if we do it like this maybe just this is like the early battles. So yeah, it depends. And also, why does this Tresio theme work so much in like a battle theme? So if you if you can like understand, if you can hear the first beat, it's on beat. The second, it's off beat. Like the second note is off beat, like in the end, not in the down beat. It's the upbeat, right? 
So why does this work? So basically, when we have some syncopations here, we create some movement in the like a perception of movement in the music. Like if we just put them in the, on the downbeat like this, there's there's not much movement, right? And by doing uh by placing the notes syncopated like in the upbeat, it creates some kind of a like uh anticipation like so we anticipate for this because uh usually we we count the downbeat right but when we count the downbeat and then we hear that the note is playing in the upbeat it's like we're anticipating a an obstacle it's like there's an obstacle slowing us down making making us want to move it's like a perception thing uh, psychologically that makes you feel like we're we have more movement in there now back to the feeling like that you can also do that like we can extend this so yeah okay so the base the base is this and then we can like that so yeah so we add the second and uh, the feelings here like that uh, let me copy this first and we also can move these notes around so it doesn't have to be in the key sometimes we can complement the harmony so let's move them around Oops, sorry. Like that. Like that. So you can hear it, like, right? We can do that, or. So we either use the variation the extended version of the tresio or we use the uh, short version it depends on the use you can use this as well the short version so yeah the longer version it felt like the extended version it felt like a more extended um, like a slower paced battle because we have so uh, like two bars to cycle the, through the this so-called pattern like that but if we need a more like a more speedier um, like more urgent slow uh, more fast paced music we can use the short version of the tresio like this like that because it's shorter it cycles through more often which makes you uh, mix, which makes your perception go much faster and it makes you think that uh, the you need to go faster you need you more you have more urgency so yeah it depends on your use case now firstly uh, Secondly, after we've established some basic rhythms, then we do some chords. Okay, we have established that there are two main uh, progressions used in Japanese RPG music, right? Firstly, the one flat six. Like that, yeah. The second one is the uh, 
the six, uh, four, five, six. Yeah, the four, five, six uh, chord progression. And we can also like um, merge them. Both of these uh, chord progressions are quite similar, right? So let's make that. Firstly, we just create a chord. Okay, let's... Uh... So we have established here that it's a C minor chord here. Okay. So yeah, with these notes, it's not very clear, but because uh, we doesn't, we don't have a the third from this a C note, which explains the context of the uh, chords. So let's add something, which is the second violin, and put it in spiccato as well. Violin two, and we can have them play the harmony again so this is the the violin the first violins play this running rhythm the second violin can uh, accent this rhythm by playing just these accented rhythms but on a different note just to give them a like a more accented harmony like that maybe Like that. So yeah, usually the second violin uh, helps the first violin in these cases. But we can also play the first violin in the third to make it make the harmony uh, to make the harmony more heard. So we know what chord this is. Like that and then we can there's one more string uh, that looks like a violin that usually helps the violins as well it's called the violas and they're lower than the violins and the viola is going to help the accented notes as well and since this is a C minor chord C minor 7 chord okay we'll put the violas to play in the G's because because we have the second violin play in the C uh, the E flat the first violin accents in the C and the viola will accent the G Like that okay we can also change this to complement it more wait let me like that and then we add the bass so first we have the uh, cello let's put the cello and the cello will also be playing these accented notes these accented rhythms but we have something a bit different so this is a C okay since this is a C minor chord, we'll put the bass, the cello to play a C here. And put it lower. But to add more kind of movement, we can 
have the cello play a similar rhythm with the to the first violins like that so they're similar but the cello plays a, plays a just the the bass notes and we can Like that. And then we'll add another bass. So this is the double bass, the biggest string, the biggest string of the uh, orchestra. So yeah, double bass. And it's going to play the same rhythm with the second violins and the violas. But it will play the same bass notes as the cello just on the accented notes and we'll put it one octave lower than the cello so it doubles the cello and we have a here we have this uh, formula for a syncopated theme like that or we can I think it's better if it's all playing the same bass notes now since we have these ready like so this is the basic stuff okay so we have usually the basic the simplest bass will be a string a full string section to play the rhythm but we can also uh, have the brass the brass uh, band to help especially the lows like the uh, tuba and the trombones so let's have the trombone first for now and have it in the short notes as well and the trombones is going to help the the double bass so this is the uh, trombone oh tenor trombone yeah okay we we're gonna ha make it help the uh, help with the accented notes like that to add more bites in it and then we'll have the uh, tuba to help as well tuba and we'll have the uh, tubs <laughs> The tuba, hey, the tuba will play the same notes as the uh, double bass as well, like that. We have a a more grounded, a deeper, more powerful, accented bass, and we can have also the uh, bass trombone here to help the tuba. Usually, we ha we have them to help uh, the tuba the second the bass yeah like that so if you can hear the bass tuba is really powerful like that okay now since we're done with the basic rhythm now let's move to the chords okay the first we have established that it's a C minor chord and then if we use the chord progression that I have introduced the, uh, the flat 6, flat 7, 1 or the, we can also call this 4, 5, 6 so since we have the first one a C, C minor then we have this fourth Okay, so we're going to just uh, we're going to just duplicate this and uh, change some notes. Okay, let's change the bass notes and we'll just block these ones because they because they are almost the same. Okay, so we have an A flat because we are doing an the flat six 
of a of the uh, C minor, which is the uh, A flat major case. Now the first violins, we need to change this. We need to change the uh, harmony of the second and the second violin and the viola first, and then we can see if the violins need some change. So okay, the violas, they're playing G before now, we have to make it play an A flat to make sure the harmony goes. Okay, since the uh, second violin is already playing A C, we don't need to change this, but we change the last note. Like that. But we, I think we need to tone down the uh, bass trombone a bit. Okay, now usually the um, the uh, the chord goes uh, two bars for the two bars for the first chord, and then the second and third chord we can just make it in one each one bar like that. So in the fourth bar we can raise it to play the uh, flat seven chord. Now that's sorted, we can change the second hand violins and the violas. And then we can copy this one again. So, okay, uh, if you notice, this is our pattern, okay? This uh, three chord pattern. Okay, uh, if you notice, this pattern goes for four bars. So there's a kind of a rule that uh, the the best the best uh, melodies and rhythms. They are comprised of a 4 bar pattern or an 8 bar pattern or as long as they're the, multiply, the multiplication of 4 so like a 4 bar pattern, 8 bar pattern, 16 bar pattern like that and the 4 bar pattern is just uh, it's symmetrical which is why it sounds good it's, it works Now let's add something. Let's add some spice. So let's add a trumpet playing the short notes as well. Now the spice is the trumpet is going to play a similar rhythm to the others but we are going to limit them to just one bar each. Like this for each chord. So let's see. Usually they do it like that. Yeah, usually the uh, trumpets just spice things up here in the rhythm. So yeah, the same pattern. And then we'll put uh, another one here to play the other chords so a flat 6 okay da, da, da. and we'll have the flat the flat 7 Like that, so 
We have a spicy one. And then we can also add the French horns. So this is what this is another um, another great instrument to use. And this is going to help with the uh, with the trumpets. We can copy them, put them up here. And since the uh, French horn have a lower rate, uh, lower range, we have to pull them down a bit. And they're going to play quite the same chords usually. Okay, we have another uh, another section done, and to add more, we can have a little bit uh, a mo more spice, more um, spice to the rhythm here by adding a snare. This is quite widely used as well. So snare and percussion. So the snare usually plays a, a similar rhythm to the first violin or the cello. That's great. So that's the snare. But it depends. You don't always have to use it. It's just it depends on your um, like your taste. that so this is the same rhythm as the uh, violins if you hear it like that yeah so the the snare drum adds a little bit more crispness so it accents the rhythm a bit more and adds more brightness, more uh, energy in it. Now we can we can just duplicate this, and we have an intro. So yeah, this is the intro, and then. We can copy this again since we are going to use this chord again, here. Now it's time for the melody. Now for the melody, it up, it's up to you what to use. Uh, okay, but since we're starting the melodies, it's time to the, let the uh, trumpets and the French horn uh, have their like, their rest. And we have the second French horn here. Just dupl duplicate this and play the long notes for the uh, melodies. So yeah, here's the intro. And then we'll just make a melody based on them. Like that maybe or yeah just try like work out your melodies like that or you can try with the trumpets as well like the second trumpet we are going to have them play long notes Like that, you have yourself a melody. So let's do that, okay? Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, let's record. Like that. And we'll just have this sorted out. But even the the basic melody here, the one we made, it still follows the same tresio rhythm if you if you realize. Okay, now let's continue the uh, melody. And maybe we can uh, give the melody now to the trumpets. And the same melody. And we can have this, uh, the, the form is a bit like, we can make it a bit like a pop song actually. So a, the first, uh, first verse and then second verse and then a ref or a bridge before ref and then a ref. So yeah, here is our first verse. And then we repeat that but a bit more variation. And then we have uh, the uh, intro repeated a little bit to kind of transition us to the second verse. Like that. And then we can, we, we will go back to the second, the, we will go back to the first, but now it's a second verse, so we can just copy this again. Because we are playing the same, the same thing. And then we will just take these, and hmm, let's think about it. Have this full here. Maybe we'll have the, uh, the same thing, but with both of them playing together. <laughs> well, this could be, but this is just a basic, how we create a basic uh, battle theme. So yeah, we've got Welcome, Mo welcome Mochi, welcome. Sorry, for, I, I, I didn't see your chat before. <laughs> but yeah, welcome. Uh, we are halfway through, I think, because we've done this uh, second verse. So yeah, we go back. Now we have our rhythm, this Thresio rhythm, which is this rhythm. that rhythm and then we have this full orchestra 
Okay, so the bass is played by the cellos and the double bass. So basically, they're all accenting the uh, accenting the tresio rhythm, and this French horn and trumpets they give spice to the rhythm. So yeah. So this is the intro. So we have so far we have an intro. Okay, we can have. Okay, this maybe we can name this the intro, right? The intro now, the first, yeah, that's good. That's not the chorus yet, but okay. So, yeah, we've uh, we've divided our uh, we've divided our song here, our music here. Now it's the intro and then the verse. So yeah, there's two verses. So this is the first verse until here. Now after the first verse, usually yeah, we have uh, some kind of uh, like in pop songs. We usually after the first verse, we have some kind of transition to the second verse. So that's this is what that is. Now we're entering the second verse here. So yeah, the second verse usually is a variation of the first verse. So we have some variations. In this case, I'm giving both the melody to both French horn and the trumpet. So they play in unison uh, in an octave. So this also creates uh, an elevated uh, sense of a uh, suspense so the first one is the low french horn right then the second part of the first verse we give it to the trumpets in a higher mel uh, higher octave right in a higher pitch which give it a, an elevated sense of suspense now we are like we are giving more suspense by having them both play so more volume more energy And then we'll play this almost the same melody, but now we are going to have to uh, some kind of create a variation again from them because we are going to go to the chorus and the bridge, like the transition to the chorus rough, if we say usually say that. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's delete this and oops. Okay, move that. Da, da, da. Now we make a little bit of adjustment. Da, 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 da. Maybe like that. Like that, maybe. So let's hear it. <laughs> yeah, Mochi, you missed the Pokemon. But I can play it for you if you'd like to. <laughs> okay, now we have the uh, usually there's sometimes we have a uh, like bridge to. The chorus but we can just for a simpler uh, simpler form we can just go to the chorus and make this our transition and now let's change the uh, chord progression a bit so previously we have been using this uh, flat 6 flat 7 to 1 which is a very common rock progression but now we are spicing things up a bit and at first the C minor is a one chord, right? a first chord but now we change it to a six chord which basically translate that 
the A flat chord is now a fourth code, a uh, subtonic, wait, not subtonic, subdominant chord, and then the uh, the fifth chord, this the flat seven chord. No, the flat seven chord is a fifth chord. Okay, now we play it like this. Like that. So yeah, let's let's move the uh, bass first because it's the easiest to do. Dum. Now, uh, okay. Dun dun. Okay, that's all right. Now we can duplicate this and move this chord again. Bam bam bam. Oh yeah! Welcome, Hika. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the class. Today's class, we have been tackling on how to make a an RPG bell theme. A simple, not so simple, but this is the most basic uh, RPG battle theme. Now let's move the chords. Which is a G, G major, and then a one chord here. And then we'll just copy the chord from before here. Like that. And our chorus is almost done. Let's see at the second. Yeah, it's 57 seconds. Usually, uh, Game themes go around one minute to one and a half minute. So usually, chorus uh, the ref, the chorus uh, repeats twice. So let's repeat that. But firstly, we have to make sure the make sure the violins are filled first. So let's copy that. Let's modify these chords first. So a G, wait, let me see what was that first. Okay, it's a G and C, right. So if you notice, I haven't changed anything from the ver first violins, right? Like they're all the same from the from the start to finish, right? Right T till the end, I use the same notes. Like that's weird. We have changed. Uh, oh, okay, okay, Snowy. Uh, have a good night. Thank you, thank you for coming. I hope you learned something today. Okay, so why does this work? As you know, we have changed. Uh, we've changed the chords, right? Like there's some progressions here, definitely. Like that's strange. Right? We have changed the chords, but how does it work? Right? We haven't changed the first violins, but it works. So since this, this is more of a rhythm thing, so each note here, uh, like this is just one note each, this can make a chord 
like a spicy chord each, like an extended chord. So yeah, depending on the situation, you can use, you can do this, like not change the violin, the, the, like this running rhythm. Like that, right? So this is this creates a some kind of uh, mm, ruling, like it roots the roots the whole music down to this rhythm here. So if we look at this, so this okay. So these are still the notes from the chord, right? Now this one, however, this is another chord, an extended chord. So which is why we can still use this, which is why it still works. So yeah, it's just a play of chords actually. And since this is not like the most dominant uh, sound here it can still work so yeah depends on on the use and we can just copy this here and find the first one here since this is a C minor chord here now now we we can like since this is the chorus, we haven't made any uh, any melodies here. Now let's think of the melody and the instrument used. You can use uh, you can actually use the trumpets again, but if you want to spice things up, you can use the the you can use another instrument to complement this. Maybe um, maybe you can uh, like add another first violin to play like the third uh, third second first violin to play the melody so let's have this duplicated but now playing the long notes and the second violin as well we can have them to help the melody as well so yeah second violin plays the long notes and we delete this because this is because we copied this now the second violin plays the melody now let's think of a melody now works so yeah let's try to record that like that But this this sounds like an uh, the end of a the chorus, right? Well, now we have to change a little bit of this because this sounds like an an, an answer. The end of this, right? Because it ends in the C uh, here. We don't want that for this because we need to uh, repeat the chorus one more time, right? So yeah, let's change that a bit. Okay, let me finish this first. Okay, but first I'm going to double the violin melody and add... Now, it's because of the end of this uh, chorus line, so we have to change that a bit. 
So let's move this a bit to the end and we can copy this. Copy this and then change the chord a bit. Uh, but let's start from the melody because it's easier to uh, find the chord once we change the melody. Now, we've only changed the melody, right? But have you noticed that now it sounds it doesn't sound like the end of the of the chorus. It's because we don't end it in the tonic of the key over here. Okay, let's add something here. So let's spice things up. And add and add what um, Japanese composers love to use. A Picardy, Picardy third coming from a suspended fourth chord, which is uh, used a lot in the Baroque era actually. So let's change that. Okay, so let's change the okay, let's let me find the note first. to change this first to make sure it's a fourth like that and we can basically have the trumpets and the horn to help with the establishing these chords this harmony that we are that we want yep we can have the trumpet play up there a like long chord like that so yeah why is it a C sharp? Uh, it's not. Why is it a C major chord, not a C minor? That's what I. That's what we call a Picardy, Picardy third. So Picardy third is uh, when a minor chord. So usually the minor chord, a minor chord, but the minor third is uh, raised by half a step, so it becomes a major chord in a minor key. So yeah, we will copy them and have the French horn play the same thing. Okay. And then to so to have this um to make this a bit more energetic in the second beat of the chorus to make the suspense uh increase a little bit, we can have the trumpets either play the melody or play these tresio rhythms so like let's copy them and just adjust them to the keys and we can 
make the volumes go down a little bit so they're not too uh, powerful so now let's change the chords like that and now we have almost a finished a finished battle theme Now, since we finished with the chorus, we are going to loop back into the intro, but um, we can, however, add something, a transition, as we see here, a bridge, or an outro, or anything, uh, I think that works, but let's just call it a, an outro, okay? So this is to to transition it back to the intro so we can copy this or later or just make it loop here and in the outro here um we can like so since we are we have been elevating the suspense a lot here so this reaches the climax in the second repeat of the chorus here Now, we can kind of uh, let it sit in a little bit so the, we can lower the suspense a little bit. Let the listeners rest. Let the player rest their, uh, their psychological, their mental thing a bit. Like, let them rest their minds. So we are going to make something that is not too energetic here for the outro. Just a short one. Uh, maybe we can use the brass here. Maybe like that. like that maybe and this in this outro you're free to do like whatever you please actually there's not a set uh, of rules here but the usually the rule is uh, either you uh, lower the usually you lower the suspense you lower the energy to help the listener rest a bit so let's see what we can make. Hmm, this is going to uh, be a little bit uh, different because the rhythm I am making. Oh, I know. Welcome, Christopher. I know. Welcome, welcome. We are doing a tutorial on how to make a um and battle theme. So if we count this, it's not a four by four rhythms, uh, four by four time signature. So we have to change that a little bit. So it's uh, a 
I think it's um, firstly this is a three by four six time signature so let's change this to three by four yep and this is not a three by four I think this is a one two three okay one two three four five six seven by eight and uh, uh remember this this intro uh, this outro part uh you don't have to make it exactly like this this is just this is a bit more free in terms of uh what you wanna what you can make oops not true it's another three by four and then another seven by eight um wait let me try first da -da 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 -da. It's okay, okay, bum. Okay, I think this needs to be up here instead. And have the lower brass instruments to play this, uh, just the accented nodes. Like that. Now let's uh, copy this to the cellos and they double bass. Like that, yeah. And Like that, we can play them like that. Okay. Uh, this will also play the same rhythm. Also, we'll have the uh, violins to play a harmony here. Like that. Also the violas. So this this outro can actually help to like uh, sometimes game developers uh, like to think that the most common the most common duration of a loop music is one point uh, one and a half minutes and that's for a good reason it's uh, it's long enough for the listeners to not be bored but short enough to make it. Uh, quite uh, repeatable for the duration of the game because if you make the music too long it won't be able to repeat in time sometimes and we can have dun, bum, bum, like that Okay. Da -dum. And we 
we have to we have to connect it to this okay let me think a little bit first about what to do maybe like that hmm Maybe they, that could work. So let's try. I have to. I have to make it first. So. Okay, I think it's still it's still an a seven by eight here. So let's do that. Seven by eight. Yep, it's a seven by eight. And let's copy that to the trainer trombones. Oops. And the first violin. Okay, I need to fix something. Okay, the chords. I need to change the chord a bit. Um for the first violin. Da da dum, yep, okay. Da 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 Yep, this one and the second one. Okay, I have to... Okay, I think I know what's wrong. So... Oops. Let them... Let the violins take that. Okay, firstly we copy this. And now I think Hmm. That still doesn't quite work. I think the chord of the first, I think. Let's see if we change this to minor. Does it work? Okay, I think it's the uh, the pitch of this, the brass. Hmm. 
Okay, I think that's what's wrong. We have to move this down. <laughs> Okay, I think I know. I know. I know. I know. I know what's wrong. The... Yep. Yep. We change this a little. Da -da -da -da. Yep. done with the battle theme now we have a battle theme and we look at it again see it the form is actually much like a pop song or a rock song you so see we have a an intro a first verse a second verse and then we go to a chorus and an outro or a bridge or whatever you call them then let's listen then change something um the violins the violins i i forgot i made them play a major chord when it's a minor chord so let's change that okay where is it again uh, what's that okay It's the violin? Oh yeah, okay, 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 that's it. That's where it's wrong. Okay, a second, third. Okay, here it is. Let's change this a bit. Right, now we are right here. that and we have a a complete song but here's the thing um since the influence of japanese uh composers many of them are influenced by rock we can try to make a more modernized version of this usually uh, lots of uh, jrpgs use uh use bands so yeah they make it kind of a rock music so let's try that let's turn off the uh, percussion here and we put in a drum here let's try that 
should we? Okay, so another library I'm using. This is also free, Spitfire Labs by uh, Spitfire. So this is all free. You can use this, you can download this. And the labs, it's easier to uh, acquire than the uh, BBC SO Discover actually because they are actually available on their web website to download immediately. So let's see. Let's uh, try the drums. Mm -hmm. I think uh, we are going to use this drum. And uh, let's see if this works. Okay, also we can add some guitar here. Electric guitar. S Okay, electric guitar, rock rhythms, maybe? Let's see if this works. Okay, let's put the... Uh, unfortunately, this uh, electric guitar doesn't really work well, the rhythms. So we have to do it manually. Okay. 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 Not sure if these can this can work, but yeah, usually uh, for modernization like this, for a rock-based battle theme, we have to kind of uh, plan them from the start to make sure it works. So I'm trying my best here to try if this works. So yeah, this might not work, or this might work, so let's hope it works. Okay, it's not too loud, so we can... We'll try to make the volume of the others go down. Okay. Oh, that's why it's not so loud. Maybe I should try the other guitars as well. Let's see if this. No, that doesn't work. This is the best. Let's use that. Turn down the. Okay, I think that works best. And let's have an EQ. Just use the any free EQ you have. Okay. 
you don't need to do this okay so this eq is just to make sure i have the uh, right sound char character okay that maybe unfortunately the uh, i know the sign the sound of the drum is not very good but we have to we'll have to live with that Let's modify this maybe. Let's try. Okay. So yeah, if, as you can hear, unfortunately the drum of the um, Spitfire Labs is not very good, so yeah, doesn't really work, but uh, we'll try our best. See if this works. Maybe we can. Also, we can add a bass. Let's see if there's bass here. Okay, classic bass. Let's put that and have have it play the same as the cello. Base. Okay, that's good. Like that, you should. Okay. 
Okay, let's see if we need to change this rhythm a bit. So how is it so far? Are you understanding what I'm doing or yeah? Okay, I need to add a symbol. So we can usually we have uh, the uh, the melody here taken by the electric guitar. If we um, if we use this uh, configuration, the rock rock orchestra configuration, but it's up to you. that so how are you doing for so far are you are you getting this or are you still kind of um, confused okay let me break it down again for you so we've got the intro here so yeah this is the intro and we have the first, so we have the melody here, taken by the horn. So verses, usually the uh, melody, they, they go twice. So the first is the, uh, an uh, the uh, question, and then we get an answer. Repeat with a little bit of uh, variation, and then we have a transition to the second verse here. that and then we have the second verse here the same melody but we have a little bit of variation here to increase to elevate the suspense here and then we have the transition to the ref or the chorus and the melody here we is taken by the violin here and then second chorus where the climax is rises and then we go to the concluding action the conclusion here so this is a cool down for the listener and we go back to the start again we loop at 1 minute 20 seconds so yeah around one and a half minutes now let's see <laughs> if we can do the other type, the other style here. Okay. Let's copy this ok 
Okay. And we can kind of copy this. Like here, it's the uh, that. Bum, bum, bum. Good night. Oh, wait, not. It's the morning for you, right? Or the evening, I'm not sure. Goodbye, Hika. Thank you for coming. Almost complete.
Okay, Oshika, thank you for coming. Have a good night. We are almost done with the stream as well after I finish this part, outro part. We have a complete, complete bell theme. Let's so let's hear it. Okay, so this is a modernized version, like a lot of the rock version, the bell theme. going for you guys uh, oops did I turn on the uh, BGM <laughs> so how is it going for you guys uh, are you getting the class uh, is there anything you'd like to ask if not I think we can uh, we can conclude the class I think and let's save this first uh, battle theme <laughs> And so yeah, oh, Razor still here. <laughs> so yeah, we can conclude the class now. So how are you enjoying it? How is it so far? Are you getting this? Uh, did you learn anything? I hope you do. Yeah, I hope you do learn something from this. 
and don't forget to rate my class. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, thank you so much for coming to the class. I hope this class would help or uh, just help increase your knowledge a bit. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And I've been having fun teaching you guys how to make this. And maybe in the future I can have more classes, streams. So if you'd like to, and I'll teach more things about game music and stuff. So yeah, thank you so much for coming and I hope I'll see you soon in the next stream. Goodbye and thank you so much once again. See you next time.